Look, wake me up later. I need my beauty sleep. Get up now! Oh. Oh. I'm gonna wake up. Looks like you hit your face pretty hard. <laughs> How that face feel? <laughs> Come on, man. Are we late? There's not a soul in this hallway. I guess. Don't you got the test in LT class today? Oh, yeah. All right. I'll catch up with you later. Hi, Annie. Hey, what's going on? Let's take a seat. Find out. There you go. Okay, that's it. Put your tests in the box on your way out. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow. Are you serious? How much did you get done? All I got was my name on it. <laughs> it's not too good. I'm gonna have to call your mama. Annie's gonna get a whooping. So how you doing that test, man? All I got was my name on it. That's it? That's it. Oh my God, what's my name on it? Did you just hear somebody repeat me and say something? No. Man, what's the matter with you? You've been tweaking all morning, especially when you bust your head in front of old girl. You say so. You're tweaking. You're tweaking, 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 tweaking. Are you sure you don't hear something like the chipmunks? Did somebody I sound told like you that? no. I the chipmunks. You want to lunch, because I'm starving. I see you in there, right? Yeah, let me find this book first. All right, man. Maybe I'll look through the LT class. Three, two, one. Twelfth grader Andy Davis has reached his limit, but he doesn't know the worst is yet to come. More on this breaking news story at 7. I'm Devontae Stone reporting live from inside Andy's school. guy that completely missed the curve this morning. Yeah, that was me. 
My day has been pretty terrible up to this point. Well, today's my first day here. So I guess you're my first friend, right? Well, yeah. I guess. Come on so we can sit together. Cool. I guess. So how has the rest of your day been? I don't even know where to start. So many chaotic things have happened to me today. Seems like every minute I get humiliated. That's not good. Maybe you should have just stayed home for the day. Well, I mean, I did fill my history exam and some crazy cheerleaders robbed me, but um, if I would have did school, my mom would have used me as a clothesline or something. I was taking no chances with her. She sounds kind of mean. Hey, I wonder who mom that is coming over there in the lunchroom. <laughs> That's your mom? Mom, what's going on? What's going on? You're leaving your lunch and failing your history test. No, Mom. Oh, shut your mouth, boy. You don't understand. I've had the worst day of my life today. Oh, really? Yes. First, I fell out of bed this morning, and then I dropped my toothbrush in the toilet, so I didn't use Arnold's old nasty toothbrush. And then I fell on my face, and some old lady rapped about it. And then this raccoon stole my hat. And then when I got to school, some crazy cheerleaders robbed me. And then these old, crazy, weird janitors with weird faces, they made fun of me. And not to mention, I just slipped in the banana peel coming in here. Oh, you think that's bad? Well, check this out. You say you had a bad day? Well, I got bills to pay. Yeah, you broke your bed today, but still, that's where you gonna lay. You broke my curves, boy. You gonna get a hurting, boy. And your little brother for the car and of them Lego toys. Now, what you mean that you fell on your face? You probably be in room and talking out your place. Now, won't you go and change that dog for your hat? Bring it back or I'm gonna whoop you with the strap. In fact, I don't care about no cheerleaders and janitors. You see, I'm steam. Don't make me have to put a can on ya. When I put my hand on ya, you gon' need a counselor. You bout to get whooped, so gonna take your pants off ya. Man, these kids are scandalous. Your energy channeling into eating these lovely peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Come here, Andy. I wanna hug you, cause I will. Get this. Wake me up later. Hey, wake me up later. I fell out the bed and learned how the grass tastes. I had a good breakfast, well, not exactly. And some grinning rat to me was shouting in my face. I had a raccoon chase, and then I was outraged. The hallways must have been fat, cause they found space. It was funny as hell. I laughed by the classmates, I got the classmate bell ready, and he put my last name. Walk in and happen to glance. I'm shouting again, Paul. Now me and Charlie is friends. All of a sudden, I hear my mama calling my name. She 